Greetings and welcome back to A View from Hillaby, Season 2. My name is Xavier Francis and I will be speaking on peace. The title of this effusion is Peace Revealed. When mentioned, the word peace is generally associated with the thought of war or the lack thereof, but throughout the Bible we get many different meanings of peace. The main recurring meaning of these is that peace is knowing the Lord your God is by your side and not only knowing it, but living it out. John 16.33 is a perfect example of this. Christ himself in this verse says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. This tells us that while you may be faced with challenges and trials and the feelings of anxiety and stress start to kick in, God's peace will always, and in me always, be with us as he assured us in a covenant in Ezekiel 37, 26 to 27. Now the second meaning of peace is peace among others. Romans 12, 18 simply explains this by saying, If it is possible, as much as it depends on you, live peaceably with all men. When we do what this verse says and make peace, we reflect God in our lives towards others. Now some may say, well I'm in a dark place right now and no matter how hard I try, I can't get this peace to take place in my life. And for those of you who experience this struggle, struggle, I have one solution for you. Prayer. The Bible says that the Lord gives strength and peace to his people. So it's not that you don't have the peace, it's that you don't have the connection required to acquire said peace. The only way to get this connection is through talking to God. And to end, I want to leave you with a verse which you can refer to when you encounter struggles in this area of peace. And it reads, Finally, brethren, farewell, become complete, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Thank you for watching.